We also want to please bring to the table or to the front here, Mr. Izu Wama, the young man who's wealth of experience towards the building. We want to use this to say thank you for your invaluable contribution as a speaker and facilitator at the Financial League Conference 2017. We hope next year's conference you are going to make yourself available because we know you are very, very busy person. As you take this picture, we want to say very, very big thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Please put your hands together for all. Without wasting our time, we want to have some two short sessions because time is getting spent, the past is spent. We want to have some two very short sessions of probably 15 to 20 minutes each. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome to the microphone to speak on the power of networking in building finances. And ladies and gentlemen, you will understand and accept with me that network sometimes is a backbone of network, of network. And so ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Mr. Fable Sunano as he speaks on the power of networking in the Indian finances. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I want to thank uh, Stephen Kintoya and his team for putting all this conference together. Awesome, awesome. I've, I've been blessed. Have you been blessed? Yes. I mean, the, the speakers are awesome. I've been mean, just writing and scribbling uh, all the way through. How many minutes do I have? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, I don't thought I'd into one or two businesses. I have 20 minutes. So just, I'll just tell you a few stories. I mean, I think that's, that's all I'm doing in 20 minutes. Yes, I'm into business. I'm doing something. I'm selling something. I'm, I'm into a service. Wonderful. Now, um, in every business, two things are required. You need a product, and you need a market for that word, product. This is my 12 years of, of doing online businesses actively. <laughs> I can remember the very first uh, time ago, I, I 2005, I started my own, my very first online business. It's not really my business, so to speak, but I my first investment on online platform. I had, I actually borrowed 200,000 naira. Then I was working PCN. Uh, by the way, I worked with PCN for 11 years. I resigned 2008. I trained industrial chemist and. 2005, my salary was barely 20 to 25,000 per month. And I took a loan from the bank, I mean from the cooperative. Not just my cooperative, somebody else, because I've exhausted my own cooperative uh, limit. You know, those of us who, uh, <laughs> I mean, who could, not, could understand. Now, a friend of mine took, a colleague of mine took a loan from me because we're so sure that this business opportunity is going to fly. And as soon as I invested 200,000, that was the end of it. In short, I almost died. <laughs> so, because it would take me the next, like, um, in one year will not be enough. I have to eat. I'm receiving my salary is 20K. And I have to eat. I have to pay bills and also save money to pay my loan. This same guy had to, when he saw that I was drying up like, I mean, like a tree, I was just drying up, you know. I was going to like an experience for you took loan, I mean, you, you, I mean, it's crazy. He had to borrow money from another cooperative to salvage me because he saw that I was just helping out. <laughs> you understand? It was crazy, you know. But that was the beginning of a journey that today will transform my entire life. You know, even it was like a sad experience then, but it killed me. I began to say, okay, uh, if this opportunity says they are doing X, Y, Z, then why can't I begin to understand what they say we're doing, even though they fail? And that's why I, I began to study things. But that wasn't enough. What was I building over the last 12 years? I was actually building a network. 2014, I made I started making the very first efforts to 
really go to understand, I mean, to be tutored, to be mentored by uh, those who have built big networks who earn $1 million, $2 million, $3, $4, $5 million annually. And that changed everything about my business. You need to build an active network around your business. Or you must get a viable product. Not cheap. So, building your network is not what? I mean, don't be confused. It, it takes... Um, the other speaker was talking about 10,000 hours. It is very serious. You must be... You must be... You must be in it, both the high and the low. So that you can, um, a lot of people what you're already what doing. Now, in the last, precisely, I found a product that is a paradigm that the entire world is revolving around right now, and because I've been privileged to build. A network over the years. In one year alone, I'm, I've made the kind of income I've not made in my business for 10 years. In one year alone, all the network I'm building be just paid off. But in this same uh, industry that I found, I mean, this same business, this same opportunity, same product I found myself, a lot of persons are in the same product, they, are, they, are, they have the same product. But they have not been able to build, they don't have significant income from it because they don't have a network around it. They have not built network. So I'm going to show you just five steps um, how to build a business, how to build a network. First of all, you need to write, just write down prospecting. Prospecting. What do you need to do to start building a, a network from now? Now, you need to start what? Prospecting. Write it down. Prospecting. Now, prospecting is the act of looking for a customer or somebody that will patronize what you are doing. Get them down in your, in your, in your list. Every business person should have, every person expecting to have a great patronage, whether now or in the future, must have a what? A list. A business list, a customer list. Whatever, whatever you want to call it, but you must have what? A list. Today, by the grace of God, my list, uh, I mean, is over 50,000 right now. I mean, but it didn't just happen. I've had time where on, on, on Facebook, I will put up uh, a, a, a statement, I mean, an advertisement statement. People come to my get the prospect to come to my apartment sir, and I will do a presentation of my business. I did that for seven, I mean, I did that 2013, 2014. In short, when I get back to church, I attend church in Ottawa. I get back to the house by 12. Between 12 and 8 p.m., I'm doing presentations from morning, from that 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. I was not making so much. But my list was growing. Now, what happens from those from those individuals who come? I tell them next Sunday we're having the same presentation. Invite your friends. And I was recording all those what? What happened to my list? My list was growing. You need a an active list. It may not be for the business now. There, I mean, right now, if I if I if I make a singular whisper, if I want to have a meeting tomorrow. I can just send a message 6 p.m. today. By tomorrow, have a full house. Because of the list. Hello? So, prospecting is very key. I don't have much time. I would have broken down to tell you how you can prospect. Uh, I mean, to, to, you, from what you have, you have what you call one market and what? Your cold market. Your one market is people that you already know to the sixth degree. You know this man, this man knows somebody, and this man knows somebody to the sixth degree. Now, you, you, you can explore that. Do your memory jog. Begin to do a memory jog. Okay, who, who, who did I go, who, who did I attend high school with? All your classmates you could remember. Write their names down. 
You don't, you are not, you are not about, you are not about calling them for the business, but just make, make them part of your list. Who attended, who, who is my uh, church folk? Who are those who attended church together? Write your name, write your name. Don't uh, say, okay, this guy, you don't like business, I don't think he's a, or this guy is too rich, you may not like to do this kind of thing. Write your list, name down. Now some people have what they call chicken list. A chicken list are a group of persons that are too powerful that you feel that they, don't, they may not be interested in this opportunity. Somebody say, write your name down. Write your name what? Down. A time is coming when a product will be so that you think uh, a product will be, will be suitable for them will come your way. Right now, I, 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 I have a product called cryptocurrency. I'm not first head of cryptocurrency. Now, cryptocurrency, I've been privileged the last, between October last year and now, to attend several international conferences on blockchain and cryptocurrency. And that has opened me up to say, I'm standing on the edge of a global revolution. Hello? And you see, we are on the edge. We are standing on the edge. In a moment, you know, as banking with Fizola. Now, what did uh, email address do to post office? Can anybody tell us? Okay. It, can there be any level of prayer and fasting that you engage in today that will bring back the age of post office? Okay, what did uh, uh, mobile phone, mob, I mean, mobile phones do to night help? Hello? It's over forever. Now, that's exactly what is happening now with that. So, with a product like that, that has a limited window, anybody, I've seen, I've seen folks who, just because they have a good network already, folks who from nothing, just handling the right products or right service, and that's, that, that, that little window, turn their life financially around. <coughs> I can't, I mean, it's not 10, it's not 15, it's not 100, it's not 200, they are in thousands. So, you need what to understand, know how to what, prospect. Then the next thing, you need to also know how to invite, right, inviting. Now, as a businessman, if you, if you are not prospecting, if you are not inviting, just give, write the full list, prospecting, inviting, uh, recruiting, that is recruiting is all enrolling, uh, enrolling the same thing, Prospecting, inviting, enrolling or recruiting, training, and promoting. Now, this this five five I mean, these five elements is crucial if you want to succeed. Whether you are doing whether you're an affiliate business, a normal business. I mean, every business requires sales. Every business requires what? So it's either you are what. Prospecting. So if from morning to evening you are not engaged in any of this, you are not in business. First and foremost, you have you must have a product. If you have a product like cryptocurrency, like like I mean like cryptocurrency, for example, which is very hot. Google go online now right now. Is the is the is the is the hottest stuff on the internet right now. Get a product, then begin to prospect. Thank God for social media today, it makes the job so easy. Now, when I, when I got started with the Billion Coin, sir, uh, that was in March 21st, the very day that the Billion Coin was launched. <laughs> after, that, after that, after I bought it, I was like, this was April. I was studying, uh, that, I think that was the financial month. I was studying um, um, Bishop, Bishop, one of Bishop's books, uh, winning the war against poverty. And he was talking something about mentality. I began to look. I said, I really bought this thing. Well, what is this thing that I bought? How do I go about it? I began, he, said, he said, we some of us suspend our brain. <laughs> Hello? Many, many of you have suspended your brain. I'm not, may not be you anyway. So many persons have what? Suspended their brain. Their brain is on the suspension. I mean, suspended somewhere. <laughs> and I, I didn't know my own was also suspended. You may have something of value as you are still terribly broke. broke. Then I began to think, what do I do? He said, you have a, what's, this WhatsApp group. What are you doing with that WhatsApp group? Change the name, convert it to crypto world. Begin to talk about cryptocurrency every day. Whether they respond or not, just be to share, share information about it. 
every place in the world. So from that WhatsApp group, in, in six months, I made over 100 million. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it's crazy. But because I've already built what? Network. Hello? So you must, you must know how to build network, and one of the ways to do that is what? What is the first step? Prospecting. You must know how to prospect your warm market and your what? Cold market is very crucial. Because of time, I can't go into much detail. Then you must know how to what? Invite people to what? In meetings. Meetings make money. Somebody say meetings make money. Meetings make money. <laughs> if you cannot invite somebody, somebody say, I, can't, I don't know how to talk. Oh, ah! A close mouth is a close destiny, sir. So a close mouth is a smelly mouth. <laughs> if you close your mouth for money evening, you don't you don't pump your mouth. Don't strike. You don't strike. Maybe after I finish the event, close your mouth mm -hmm. till night. And you not get home and I say you want to kiss your wife. I say open your mouth. What happened? To be smelly. And you may you may respond insults. Hello. So a you must you must know how to invite. There are skills for inviting, yes. But you must learn how to invite people to what? Meetings. These meetings doesn't have to be big meetings. It can be meetings in your apartment. See, my, my house, I mean where I used to stay, which is not my office. Now that apartment is notorious for movement. Like my neighbors like, what did you have for this my house? Every day of the week, people are always thronging into the house. I mean, people from Facebook said, I don't know, I've not met. And that's the place of honesty and, you know I mean? You just need to be trustworthy. It's always that you can be trusted. I've invited folks into my apartment, done presentations. Somebody saw me in the bank and said, ah, okay, sometime we invited into your house, have some years back. I said, oh, really? <laughs> so I've forgotten. So it can be your apartment, you go meeting in a restaurant, you go meeting in a, in a meeting like this, it is a free meeting, and they are talking about the business that you are doing. But you must learn the skills of what? Inviting. Now the next thing is what? Recruiting. Now, many people are into business, they, are, they never get to the point. Recruiting is the point where you actually make a sale, where you actually close what? The deal. And you must ask questions. Questions like, oh, you are doing a bit like somebody is into uh, network marketing, for example. You ask questions like, are you ready to get started? Or you have questions. You must act, come to the point of asking the person how, if he's ready to get started about your product. Don't assume, I, well, I've shown him, I should, he should know that this business is wonderful. You must ask. Someone say, ask. ask. You must ask the person, are you ready to get started with me in this opportunity? Or you still have questions. By the time the, by the, time the person has asked the question, and it's, it's, you feel, you feel satisfied. Ask again, are you ready to get what? Started. This thing I'm telling you, it works. I've tried it a thousand times. I'm, I mean, people like, I've been tutored by people like Matt Morris, you can Google it, the author of The Unemployed Millionaire. I mean, one on one. And he, I mean, those are guys who uh, they, they showed me the way. Now, the next thing to do, you need to learn how to work, promote. Promotion. Promote everything. Okay, training. Okay, we have training there. Yes, good. I mean, let's talk about promotion now. Now, promote, you must, you must learn how to what? Promote. For example, this event, I'm assuming it's, assume it's a free event, even if it's a paid event. And if we, for example, we are selling a particular product, this event is about a product, and you are an affiliate uh, to, the, to this product, for example, let me say financial leave is a product, and you are an affiliate to financial leave. You must learn how to work, promote Man, that event. You hold your list and get me to call everybody. That event, financially, you have to be there. <clears throat> I mean, nobody comes out of financial leap and don't live out of poverty. You begin, you begin to promote the event. The more, promote, the more promotion you do, the more of edification you do of the speakers <coughs> of that event, the more of your prospects you will attract into that world event. Whether it's a paid event, whether it's a free event, you can take full advantage of that. Those, who, those of us who are into real-time real network marketing, we probably understand what I'm talking about. So promotion is key. You must be able to promote. 
put on events, whether it's a small event, small meetings. I mean, as long as you are part of a group, learn how to promote that event so that you have your folks, your prospect drawn into that world meeting. The more the person that invites the most to make more world money. I I I I, I do free events. I mean, every Tuesday, Thursday, sometimes Saturday, like this Saturday, I, I do free world event. But in that free event, I do my I work, I do my best to to invite the most. Even I'm on, I'm on the convener. I do my best to work harder than my teammates. Because the one that invites the most, in what? The most. I don't know the frustration that people get to the network marketing and say it doesn't work. Network marketing is the greatest way for you to set to your financial life forever. Because it gives you what you call residual income. Whether you are sleeping, you are okay, you are not pressing any button, the thing is always what? Dropping. Hello. All right, so the next thing we'll talk about, training. Now, training, you must understand your product. You must understand that you are doing very well. well. Then you must, and it must be simple enough, it must be simple enough for you to also what? Train your new world and release those who just got started in your world opportunity. You must learn how to what? You must get the basic things, understand the basic about that business or that service, then be able to Duplicate it in the life or in the, in the in the life of the person that you just was enrolled. So when you when you are doing any of this stuff, you are what you are pro, you are uh, presenting. I mean, you're prospecting. You are inviting. Okay, we didn't talk about presenting. Yes, presenting is. I mean, after you invite somebody, you have to what present the opportunity. You must what. Present the opportunity. So you must also know the opportunity. And what when you are presenting that the, your presentation style must be duplicatable. It must be something that your I mean your prospect will look at. Can I do what this guy is doing? If you are too if you are a superstar, when you are presenting and you are presenting too much of a superstar and it's not duplicatable, your prospect is getting afraid that can I also do this? So until your until what you are doing is duplicatable. You may not actually, you may not have a lot of enrolling people, people enrolling to your world opportunity. So presenting is key. So if you are doing, you must be doing engaging in one or two or more of these things for your business to grow. I mean, for whatever business has to do with affiliate or network marketing, you must be either one. What, what's, the, what's the first one there now? Inviting, inviting, recruiting, presenting, training, and promoting. Thank you very much. God bless you. We are going to still take questions, and so you don't have to rush when we are still going to take very important questions. Please, can you put your hands together? For the the reason I love to be at conferences like this is this, where <coughs> results meet explanation. Yes, this is where results big explanation. Someone says it's made by 100 million. You need to look, look at the shoes to know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you need to look at the shoe. Now, for you to understand how important that shoe is, if your shoe is shining here, under this light, then you have a better shoe. <laughs> but his shoe is shining. So please put your hands together for him. <laughs> Very close to him is someone who deals in shoes. <laughs> And so he will tell you how money comes from Jews. There's this organization called called Zappos. Yeah. Now, Zappos was so fantastic as a shoe company that its customer service pattern became one of the best customer service program in the world. The name, the name of the guy is called Tony Sesh, the guy that owns Zappos. He sold Zappos to Amazon.com for, for $2 billion. But having sold Amazon, I mean Amazon.com bought Zappos and asked to the state to still be DMD. Imagine someone coming to you and say, "We are giving you two billion dollars for your company, but we don't want to destroy or destabilize the system you have set in place. We will pay you for life running the system." According to their plan and and strategy, Zappos is the only company you can call. And you are not buying shoes, you want to buy pizza. 
and they will tell you where pizza is. Imagine you are just new to town and you want to buy pizza. You don't know where they sell pizza. Call the Zappos line. They will tell you where pizza is. Say hi, good morning. Yeah, I want to buy pizza and I was just checking if you can direct me. I said yes. Are you on Jeremy Street? I said yes, there's nobody showing Jeremy Street. Well, six, six streets away from Jeremy Street, there's a pizza hut there. Thank you. <laughs> At no cost. They were so successful to the point that the church I worship with in, in Ibadan had to use the Zappos strategy. Uh, a church had to use the Zappos strategy as their own mission. And what is their first strategy of Zappos? Deliver wow. And so this young man that I'm about bringing to you is delivering wow for the product in Nigeria that is, that is the most counterfeited, mm -hmm. that's the most rushed into, the high class is in it, the lowest class in it. If you didn't go to school and you want to be able to survive by it, you get the shoemaker. Bah, 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 bah. Ladies and gentlemen, for dignifying the work of St. Louis. Mr. Connaughton, it's nice seeing you again. Thank you very much, sir. You might not know me, but I've always known you with this guy, man. Speak as Connor. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Stephen Akitayo, for you may just be ready to speak to you with my ankles. Uh, my name is Abel Kolabe, like I've said again, I'm saying again, and I'm a shoemaker, right? And I'm always proud of my old man. So in case you see me after now, feel free to call me a shoemaker. In case you find it difficult to remember my name. I'm here to just talk about food operation and process of exchanging value for cash. You know, I love this. I can, I can summarize everything I've said into um, Product, product, okay. converting product to money. All right, or creating product, then learning how to convert it into money. You see, a whole lot of time, everyone seated here, if I have the time, the luxury of time, and I start to ask every one of us, then you'll be shocked that I would cook up three products minimum from every one of us. Okay? So one of the major or core problems that we've had is the fact that we overrate everything around us. We overrate everything. And one thing I teach myself every other time and I tell, tell my um, colleagues at work is that look, let us always be a demystifier. I demystify everything. So I'm asking questions. How much is it to get a Maserati? And someone is screaming, ah, you know Nigerians, in front of them, ah, Maserati. <laughs> some will say, you're one leg of baby again. You know, so some will say, you just called Maserati, right? Yes, how much is it Maserati? You know, I was um, asking my mechanic once about it, one of the cars, I can't remember now the price, and it's good. And I said, look, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to exchange it, that car, for the life of another man. That's one of the most valuable commodity that I can, I know I can buy. All right? So, Maserati has a price to it. So, imagine Maserati is a million euro. Let's just assume. So the question is, how do I get a million euros? All right? Now, a million euros is always in multiples of value. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So the thing about it is that if I'm going to sell this in euro, so the question I would ask is, how much would I sell one of this? Assume it's one euro. So to get enough money to get me a Maserati, I need to understand the number of these I need to sell to get it. So assuming I have to sell a million bottle of this, the question is who buys it? Where are my customers? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? 
So then I divide it by the number of people that I need to sell this to to give me a million euro. You remember where our, our goal and objective is. So now what I'm discussing with us might take me three years. But because I'm in demystifier, I see it from the first day I decide I want to achieve it. So the fact that someone had been able to achieve it, and you see the good thing about keeping that kind of mentality is that it might get to a point that the model I'm looking for has now become old fashioned. Then I can always upgrade with the same mindset. All right? So when you're talking about product, a lot of time we have exaggerated everything around us. One of it, which is the commonest in Nigeria now, is what? Recession. How many of us know Nigeria is in recession? Can I say answer, please? Let me see. I know Mr. Seeming to be a Christian, to be a man with integrity. You believe there's recession in Nigeria, please. I'm not going to send anybody else. I know you pay to be here. All right? So, now, people say there is what? Recession. I beg to disagree. Because that word recession is the reason why we have refused to be productive. So what I say is Nigeria is not in recession. A reset button has just been pressed. All right? It's a reset button. So imagine your system is malfunctioning for, for my guys that in IT. They said they go and um, reformat the system. So if the system, God forbid, can you have a So if this system has virus or crashes, what do you do? I contaminate. It's not possible. You have to do what? Reformat it. So it means you lose some details and all that. You're going to lose the system. So you still have the system. Now, what you've used the system for previously, can you still achieve the same thing with it? Yes. The meals you sent with it, can you still send meals with it? Can you check your inbox with it? And even with the new technology of saving your stuff in cloud, most times people don't even fidget when they say they're going to reformat their system, unlike before. Can you remember? Those days that some people you see, they have malaria, right? Because they said, my sister, what happened? It's really people in this industry, my sister crashed. So what is happening to Nigeria is that a reset button has been pressed. So the few things that happened after pressing the reset button, there are three things. One is a change in perception. Two is a change in attention. Then the last one is to take action. So I was with someone yesterday in my office and um, she was telling me about the challenges in her business. I've, I've, I've trained about over 600 people in the arts and the business of shoemaking. So I got this new, new portuguese and um, she kept on hammering on the word recession. So I see the economy, see what the economy, see what the economy, and I'm like, see, stop talking about the economy. How many peers do you even produce in the month? She said 30. Where do you reside? She said by Elsa. I said I know by population. What's the fraction of 30 to 2 million? Listening. What is that thing that you have that you do not take seriously? 